This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's open up the BCB project file. You've probably used viewports and paper space in your drawings, but have you ever used them in model space? If so, then great. If not, they're not what you think. Viewports have been in AutoCAD for a long time. They've been in model space for a long time. Paper space has only been around since AutoCAD release 11. When I started using AutoCAD, we didn't have paper space. I'm glad it was added because it makes things a lot easier. Viewports and paper space give you a view of your model. Viewports and model space do that too, but it's not for drawing purposes. It's for modeling purposes. Model space is where your data goes, your model, your information. Paper space is where your drawing information goes, your notes, your text, your title block. Viewports and model space give you multiple perspectives of the same model. Viewports and paper space give you one view of your model. This allows you to work from different perspectives simultaneously while in model space. It's very useful when modeling a 3D project as the one we've opened. It also helps when working on large projects. When you start a drawing, model space has one viewport, called a single. You can work with as many as four at any given time. It divides your drawing screen up into sections. To get to the viewports, type in vports on the command line, the same way you would if you were in paper space. There are several different options to us. We have the single, which creates one viewport. We have two vertical, which creates two vertical viewports. Again, two horizontal. And then we have three, a larger one on the right, two smaller ones on the left. We have three above, which means the larger viewport is on the top. And we have below, we have three vertical, three horizontal. Four of them are equal or four of them with three smaller on the right, or four with three smaller on the left. If we go with two horizontal, just click OK. Now it hasn't changed your file at all. It just changes the way you're looking at it. It gives you double vision. I'm looking at the same model twice. As I select and highlight objects in one of these viewports, the other is also selected. See, I can zoom in and out. I can pan. It doesn't affect the top viewport any because it's just looking at the model. It's looking at the information. You can do a 3D rotate. And again, it doesn't change anything. Now if I select this object and then delete it, it's gone from both views. This is nice to help you see a big overall picture. If I go to change my view here, and now I can zoom in but yet still see the overall picture. While I work on my chair, I know what's around it because I can select some of the objects and I know what's going on. This is great if you're working on a small spot in a very large project. Another good way to use the viewports is with the four equal viewports. Click OK. And now I have four viewports. I click in the one that I want to activate or to work in, and it's highlighted, and my navigation bar shows up in it. If I come here, do a 3D orbit to get an isometric view, and I can zoom in. I can also change the view style to whichever one is appropriate. Just depends on what it is you want to see. Now here I can have my top view, which is zoomed in quite far. Here I can go with my front view, And on here, I can go with my right view. Now, as you see, I can work in any one of these views. And as I hover over and select, it's highlighted in all of my views. I can put this one back to my 2D wireframe if I'd like to make it easier to see. But I can work in one viewport and see how a different perspective sees the changes. I can compare the information from one viewport to another very quickly. 
With one viewport, I would have to constantly pan back and forth or change the views. Now I already have that done and I can just go to the view that I want to work in at any given time. I can set the visualization parameters for each viewport. I can make one the top view, or left view, etc. I can even use a D-view twist and rotate it however I need to. If I started drawing from scratch, this is a good method to help you use it, especially when you're making a 3D model. It will help you to see all of your components from multiple perspectives at once.